this practical shows how to insert data but now instead of using servlet we will be using JSP. So let us first start with creating our table. Now to create a table first we create our database and we will use our database and copy pasting the queries. Now it is showing me that there is an error over here. If you carefully see what is the error, the name of my, uh, the spelling of database is wrong. Okay. Now, use employee details. I will create the table employee with three fields. That is E number, E name and salary. Okay. Now, once the database is created, you quickly create a project. So, new project. Java web, web application, next, employee details, JSP, next, next and finish. Okay, now in index.html you will make the following changes. It is a registration page. So, registration page. Now, this is the code that you will copy or you will write one I am taking employee number, employee name and salary. On submit I am saying insert and reset button. So once that is done you will create a JSP page. So file new JSP what name we will give exactly the same name that we have written in the action tag. So here it is EMP registration and then finish now here you will write following code now this is the exact same code that we always write for you know uh, for our uh, a database connection the only difference is you place this code in a scriptlet now there is no other difference so this code is exactly same as we write for normal uh, database uh, insert but only in scriptlet okay now the next thing we have to do is we have to have a page directive wherein we will have import statement because for every sql file every sql code we have to import a package which is called as java dot sql dot asterisk so this is what I have to import every time so this is what I will write over here now once you have written this import statement the next thing that you will be doing is you will be adding your library file so right click add jar slash folder select this connector and say open ok now your practical is done you can try running the code students before we run the code I want to attract your attention to one thing here the table name we have written as registration details which is wrong we have to write EMP because that is the table that we have created ok so that is one change you will make now run the code employee number 1 employee name employee salary and insert it will show you registration successful go to SQL write select asterisk from EMP colon you can see the employee has been added that's it for this practice